and today I'm in the bodybuilding.com kitchen and I'm going to make my Italian turkey zucchini burgers. Um, I've already started by prepping my oven and setting it on broil. You want to set it on high, there's high and low settings. Make sure you put it on high and I've moved the rack to the top about two inches from the heating element. I've also already grated my zucchini. I'm using two pounds of turkey and for every pound of turkey I've grated two zucchinis. So we've got quite a bit of zucchini here and it makes a lot of juice but we want that because turkey tends to be really dry so that's why we're putting the zucchini in there in the first place so it'll add some moisture. So I want all of the liquid as much as I can get. Try to balance that and get it in the bowl. All right. And then after I've added the zucchini, I'm going to add all of my spices. This is a really easy, easy um, recipe. It's got one measuring spoon, which is a teaspoon. So I've got a teaspoon of pepper here, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of oregano, and then two teaspoons of onion powder, and two teaspoons of basil. So that's it. It's lots of green stuff. And then I'm going to add the turkey. And then this is where you get your hands dirty. And you just reach in and start mushing it up. You never want to overwork protein because then it can tend to get a little bit tough. So just really kind of squish and pick it up and fold it over until you get it all incorporated. You can make this same recipe with really any sort of meat, whether it's beef or maybe ground chicken breast. Um, I actually prefer lean ground chicken breast, but that's actually, it's really hard to find. Um, not every butcher makes it or every grocery store offers it. It's looking pretty good. Now I've already prepped my pan. I covered it in foil because this can get pretty messy. Um, the zucchini adds a lot of liquid, so sometimes it gets a little runny. You can make these uh, on the grill if you prefer, but for me the broiler is just easy cleanup, so that's why I like it. Now I just need to form these into patties. I get about a palmful, and you want to aim for maybe about um, four or five ounces. This whole recipe makes about uh, nine to ten burgers. This is actually a really great uh, low carb option. So zucchinis are a carb, but there's very few carbs in them. This recipe is also really versatile. Instead of burgers, you can make them into meatballs and put them on spaghetti squash. And there's another low carb option. For me, spaghetti squash is a lifesaver whenever I'm sort of in that low carb phase. And something like this makes me think that, or makes me feel like I'm having spaghetti. Also, using the grater to grate up your vegetables and things like that, not only does it add moisture to your lean meats, but it adds more volume. So even though it seems like maybe you're, um, like for instance, if you're, you're having a party or something and you've got to make your dollar stretch, you can add lots of grated vegetables to things and it'll actually create more food. So the more zucchini I were to grate up, if I only had two pounds of turkey, it actually might make more patties. So it looks like I'm done. I'm gonna rinse my hands off. Okay, and now I've just got to get them in the oven. With a broiler, you're actually going to treat it just like a grill. And this one, I usually like to do about seven or eight minutes on each side, depending on how hot your oven is. I'm going to set mine for seven minutes, and then we'll open it, flip them over, and do seven minutes more. Okay, we flipped the burgers and it's been seven minutes on one side and now seven minutes on the other. Let's get them out. They look good. So you always want to make sure it's done. So we'll just kind of poke into one and peek. No pink inside. They're really juicy. So that's a good sign. And then I guess I'll just put one together. You can eat them by themselves if you're doing the low carb thing. Or another option is to use Ezekiel buns or um, any kind of bread you really want. But I prefer these. 
Uh, they are only made from sprouted grains. So if you look at the ingredients, there's nothing artificial in them. You can only find them in the freezer section. These are buns. These are uh, an English muffin, which is another option. And then you've also got just the bread. So different ones have different calorie counts. I think I'm going to go for an English muffin. You can toast it. You can leave them soft, whatever you'd like. I'm going to leave mine soft. So then I've got my bun ready. I'm going to slice up the tomato. Put down a few slices, a little bit of lettuce. And then whatever condiments you want to put on this, um, ketchup works or uh, mustard might work. I like the ketchup. This is the reduced sugar variety. Just make sure you get one that doesn't have high fructose corn syrup in it. So I'm going to squeeze some of that on there. I like quite a bit. Get a patty. Put that on there. And then there's my burger. It looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to take a bite, see if I can get my mouth on it. It tastes good. <laughs> All right, for this recipe, just check the link below. And if you want more recipes or articles, you can find those at bodybuilding.com.